Yo guys, welcome back to your baby PDCGO of Volume Skies video. Today, guys, we're looking at a very crazy deck, but this deck is going to be using all of the eight new evolution v maxes in one deck yes you heard right all eight evolutions in one deck can we make it work well i'm excited to try it out if you guys are going to go on to enjoy the video and want to leave a like to support the content that would be greatly appreciated by leaving a like on the video but let's look at the list here so yes we are playing all eight evolutions and believe it or not there's actually some synergy with a lot of them like sylveon for example works really well on a deck with a lot of different types um, of course, you know, Umbreon having the Gust. Leafeon V is kind of cool. Being able to power up your Pokemon with greeting cells is nice. We have Glaceon as like a wall. Like, there's a lot of type coverage too. Now, the only loose end really is just the Flareon, which we're probably not going to use Flareon VMAX in this deck at all. It's just not very efficient. Even against Zacian, like, it's just not a good attacker. But everything else is good. I mean, you got good type coverage. You got the Umbreon for the Dark type. You know, you got Leafeon as a Grass type. You got Jolteon as a Lenny type. Plus, it's really good against single prize decks. You got Espeon VMAX and Sylveon as Psychic types. You got Glaceon as a Wall and a Water type. And then you have Vaporeon as a Wall and a Water type. Also, Vaporeon is a nice big one-hit KO where, like Sylveon is. So before we get in the video, of course, shout out to the sponsor, Card Cabin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PDC Joe pack codes, get them over at Card Cabin. Card Cabin sells codes online for the cheapest. So if you guys are ever looking to get any PDC Joe codes, get them over at Card Cabin, especially now with everything being up in the air with Pokemon TCG Live. If you guys are going to be picking up any bulk codes to have 125 codes on your account, get them at Card Cabin. If you get any codes at Card Cabin at the checkout, use my discount code, code LDF, for a 5% discount on your order, help channel, help yourself out, and help our car cabin. So shout out car cabin, check them out, and use code LDF. Um, yeah. Also, check out the video articles I've been posting. There might be a new one up of a Vaporeon VMAX deck profile. So this is what I'm using for my list here. Again, we're just using a one of of all the evolutions, which might not be efficient, but I mean, we can't play two of each. I mean, that would just clunk the deck up. Again, the best attackers are probably going to be Sylveon, Jolteon and maybe Vaporeon because they're a little bit cost like costless. We have uh, Rapid Strike Energy, Elemental Badge. I am playing Melanie um, as an Energy Acceleration Engine because believe it or not, you get Melanie and Leafeon V power up like an Umbreon. Like for example, you can go like Aurora Energy to Umbreon, Greening Cells to an Umbreon, and then Melanie or Attach for turn the next turn. So it's actually not that hard to build up your Umbreon V maxes even with like Melanie and Fle jo uh, Leafeon. So that's why I kind of like this like kind of combos because. You have pretty good energy acceleration thanks to Leafeon and Melanie combined. Leafeon is good too as an attacker. Of course, Grass Knock can be pretty powerful against the Larian Moltres, which is getting popular right now. So you don't have like the best type coverage. Like we're missing, I think, like Metal. We're missing a good Fire Pokemon also. Because Fl again, Flareon is not the greatest attacker. We're probably never going to use Max Detonate. I don't think we're ever going to use Flareon. I had to play it just so it's in the deck, but I don't think we're ever going to use it. I mean, we might use Flareon V. I mean, Scorching Column, I guess, like double aurora elemental badge but not really that great and for the most part we're just going to use the other v pokemon as espion v max might not be great but you never know max mindstorm could be good if you're playing against a deck that happens to just put energy in play like shadow rider for example i mean we have both umbreon and espion that could maybe be good against shadow rider i am playing one copy of goon to combine with jolteon and vaporeon I'm also playing ditto in the deck and this is kind of a no-brainer if you end up losing an er if you lose a v pokemon early on that you want to use in the match. Like, for example, if you're trying to use uh, Sylveon VMAX and you, use, you lose Sylveon V at some point in the game, you can ditto it back into play as an option. Um, and then, of course, we got, you know, Bucket. Just a lot of items. Again, we're just playing a lot of different things. We are playing Raihan, Research, Marnie, Melanie. Um, I am playing one copy of Raw. This also goes well with the ditto, of course. Um, if you end up losing the VMAX, you can get it back. So there's a lot of synergy there. Plus, if you want to use a certain type twice in a match, you need the Rod. Um... We play a lot of energy, I know. There, I mean, it's a bit of, I mean, it's it's a challenge deck. I'm not taking it too seriously. We got three Rapids, four Auroras, uh, two Grass just to go with Leafeon, and then four Water for the Melanie, and then alongside one copy of Bucket. The Grass and Water, just really good energy acceleration methods with Leafeon and Melanie. So let's go try the deck out, seeing action on PCGO, and I'm hoping we can win some games, and I'm hoping we can actually use all kinds of different Pokemon to attack with. We'll, we'll see how it does. Okay, here we go into the first match with the Evolution deck. Hopefully, we're able to win all of our matches, or at least some games, and hopefully we get some good type coverage, because it looks like we might have hit an Inteleon deck, which means we want to go with Jolteon here. We do open with a Glaceon, which, I mean, might not be bad either. I mean, Glaceon could be an okay attacker. Yeah, like, at least, I mean, like, this deck has actual, like, okay synergy. None of the none of the evolutions, apart from Flareon, are unplayable. 
I mean, I was actually originally going to not play the Flareon V in the deck because Flareon VMAX we're never going to use, probably. It's just not very effective in this deck um, at all. But we have to include it because it's part of the challenge. Um, but every other than that, every other VMAX is like actually like kind of decent. Like Umbreon, you know, Glaceon, Leafeon. Leafeon V is amazing. Ooh, we're playing against Jumpluff. It's definitely a matchup where we want to use Jolteon then. Um... Yeah, it's definitely gonna be a Jolteon S matchup. I'm gonna get rid of a water energy here. We're gonna grab Jolteon. We have the badge in the deck, right? We got both badges. Aurora. Yeah, we wanna go Jolteon. Jolteon is basically the best attacker in this matchup. Yeah, I guess Jolteon is how we do it. They're trying to Melania later on. Grab ourselves Jolteon V. My opponent's probably looking at this like, what the heck am I looking at? I'll tell you what you're looking at. You are looking at a crazy deck. The next turn, we can research and actually drop the goon down, which we have to ping. We don't play Inteleon in this deck. Actually, maybe I guess Glaceon could be okay, too. I don't know. This could be tough. Not a not a matchup I'm really, like, too fond of. Um, But, yeah, I think Jolteon's good. Actually, I don't even think we want to use Umbreon. I was thinking we might do Dark Signal, but I just realized it's actually not really that good to put an Umbreon VMAX in play in a matchup like Jump Fluff. It's just not going to cut it. See if we can get the KO here. Oh, they do Marnie me, which is annoying. We do lose our professor's research, which we did want to keep here. So let's see what we get off this research. All right, we got Aurora. We got Melanie too. Hmm. Sylveon could be okay too in this matchup because of its ribbon badge. All right, so we can knock out. Well, they did put the goon at the bottom of the deck too, which kind of sucks. Let's see, we draw. Larion, beautiful. Don't need that. I really want a Melanie to the Glaceon here. I think it's their research. Melanie would have been awesome, though, because we could have had a to Glaceon. We don't. We do get the Elemental Badge, but we don't get... We do not find Jolteon VMAX. We also didn't get a... Uh, we didn't get um, a Goon either, so that didn't really matter too much. We can put Glaceon in play. Maybe they're dead drawing? I mean, Glaceon's okay in this matchup. We can do, like, Max Icicle... Combined with Jolteon, I guess, theoretically speaking. Oh, well, we could have went Thunder Spear, I guess, right? No, they're not weak to lightning. They're weak to, they're weak to fire. I keep thinking Jumpluff is weak to lightning because I just, like, directly remember Jumpluff from Lost Thunder being weak to lightning. I'm out of the assumption all Jumpluffs are weak to lightning, but they're not. Fortunately, we don't have a Melanie. We can't max high school next turn. Maybe we should just ma we should just Melanie to the Glaceon instead of doing a thing. Probably would have been better to just Melanie. We can go Pin Missile, which we might as well do. We are taking a lot of damage, though, which I don't like. Let's retreat. Into Jolteon. We'll bench Vaporeon. It's probably not bad in this matchup. We can do Pin Missile. Sure. We'll research. Or we can rip the Jolteon VMAX off this. Oh, we got it. And we got the Galarian Zigzagoon. Even better. All right. Now I regret attaching the energy there, but it's all good. We got tons of time. We can get rid of Flareon since it's useless. Grab the Goon. And we will Goon Ping the Hop Hip. Say bye bye to your Hop Hip there, buddy. Yeah, say. Oh, do we want to bench Umbreon? I mean, I'm not too fond of benching something weak to grass, but I mean, it does give us Gust here, which is not bad. Uh, so let's do it. Yeah. We are down one boss, so why not? Why not? Why not? Bench it just to have that coverage. Let's see what our prizes are. Scoob of Net is great. Quick Ball is good too. We can get. Um, I don't even know what to grab. Maybe Leafeon? No, Leafeon's useless. I don't even know what the other evolution we should use is. I don't even think we want to use another one. I don't know. This is really good, though. We have control of the match right now. Um, they can put another hop up in play, but then we just gust it with Umbreon and bring it up, knock it out, max Thunder Rumble. We have a net. We kill two hop pips. And I don't know, like, I think at that point we should be far ahead enough to win the game. We'll see. We want to build up Glaceon, I think. Max Icicle, I mean, I don't know if it's that good, though. I mean, the 30 damage running out of Goon Pings does combine well, but they are going to boss my Umbreon. Never mind. That's annoying. Uh, we don't have an air balloon. But we can do this. Now we can mean look them. We can still actually put a decent chunk of pressure on them. <laughs> we can actually mean look this Pissimian and trap it in the active, which is actually hilarious. I actually don't think they can move it. Um, last time I checked, Jump Love does not play any way to move. Like, they don't play Switch or anything. I mean, I can't evolve the Passimian, so it's, like, gonna be stuck. Aha. 
You thought you had me. No, no, no. I have you. Now, the problem is... They can get a couple spreads off before they kill my Umbreon with the jump up, which is a bit of an issue. So when I get the opportunity, I think I have to retreat this thing into Jolteon again and knock out Hop it. I don't know, I'd rather Jolteon knock out two things, but they are still dead drawing. So we can just keep doing mean look. Just keep pressing it and just kind of doing our thing. Seems good to me. I'm gonna wait to do max under level. Probably should have put the Rap Strike energy on the Vaporeon, actually. Thinking about it. This deck is just... I don't know, man. We might actually beat a Jump Bluff deck. Jolteon is like the MVP. Like, when this deck get, gets paired against low price, like low HP decks, yo, Jolteon is the boss. There's a third hop hit, but just a pass. They are still a dead drawing, which is fine. There's a Melanie. That's great. We can actually just build up Glacion here. Like, I'm fine with just kind of... Oh, there's Air Balloon. Um, Yeah, we might as well just retreat. Now we can do the uh, double knockouts. We can go into the Jolteon... We can scoop up and at the Galarian Zigzagoon. We can drop the Goon, ping a Hop Hip. Yeah, this is pretty much GG's, right? Now we can just go Umbreon. Um, just the Hop Hip. Knock it out. Hold on. Knock it out and knock out the other Hop Hip. And that should be GG's because I don't think they can win this turn. Umbreon pulled its weight. Jolteon pulled its weight. You love to see it. We get our Rapid Strike Energy and there's Crobat. That's good. Now we can find another Supporter. But I think it is game over. I don't see how they're stopping me at this point. Um, they can maybe jump bluff me. Not even that. No, not even that. They have nothing they can. They have to bring in a Pokemon that can survive a hit from Max Thunder Rumble in order for me to not win this turn. But we can also go into Glaceon and like, just kind of like, I don't know. That, I think it's GG's. Like, I don't think they can win. Like, they literally, well, I guess they could trap my goon with another boss's order. That would theoretically work, but nope, just a path. And that is game. There we go. Max Thunder Rumble, knock out the Simeon. Knock out Jirachi. <laughs> Jolteon carried its weight in this matchup against Jump Bluff, which I, I expected Jolteon to be like the best attacker there. And hey, turned out Jolteon was the best attacker. All right, here we go. Let's get into another match. We've won the coin flip, which is fantastic. Hopefully, we get some Leafeon action. Greening Cells is really good in this deck. We are going to mulligan here. Uh, my opponent's looking at this like, what? What am I looking at right now? All right. We'll see what we're playing against and what types we get to use. We'll see. All right, here we go. Mulligan. Let's see what we're looking at here. Oh, no, not the Flareon. All right, thankfully, we got Sylveon. We have Dream Gift, which is decent, too. Green Cells would be pretty good here, too, though. We'll see, though. The best top deck, I think, would just be another Pokemon. Honestly, I might bench Flareon just to have it in play. Okay, well, you love to see we do this Sylveon. But, I mean, at this point, we can Dream Gift just to guarantee the Evo Incense. We can also greening cells and just accelerate energy. I kind of like accelerating energy. You know what? Let's just accelerate energy. Which is pretty important. Uh, so, okay. We got Sylveon. We got Umbreon. Espeon. Jolteon. Glaceon. Uh, we don't have Vaporeon in the deck. Okay. Vaporeon VMAX is prized. Cool. Check our energy. Did prize two Rapid Strike. No, we prized one. We prized an Aurora. Okay. Green cell. Well... Yeah, this is fine. We could have put on the active because we could get Marnied here. But I think we just want to build up as much energy as we can. Yeah, I might have the bench Flareon just to have it in play. Are we against Urshifu, though, is my question. Which is fine. We have Sylveon. Jolteon. Oh, no. There's no fighting type in the deck. That's awkward. That's awkward. Oh. Well, good thing we did our job. We don't play any stadium. We actually have no way to stop path. Which is not good, actually. Yeah, that's bad. Path the Peak is very annoying. We can kill their Sobble, though. We'll see if they Marnie me. Part of me wishes I now went Dream Gift. Because, like, uh, Leafeon doesn't really do much. Nah, they got the Marnie, bro. Why you always got it? No! There goes our hand. Hopefully, we don't dead draw. I'm just scared of dead drawing because we don't, we don't have access to Crobat or Dream Gift. There it is, the dead draw. That's what I was worried about. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Scary times. Thank heavens. I think I'm going to get my own Jolteon in play. Right? We could get Glaceon down, actually. Glaceon might not be bad. There, let's get Glaceon, too. Glaceon might be okay in this matchup. Jolteon. I, I don't know. Maybe Jolteon's better. All right. Hopefully, we get Sylveon. Evil Incense. No Evil Incense. That's annoying. We can still knock him out, though. It's not that bad, I guess. Yeah, honestly, it's not too bad. Sure, 
Hold the hand. Keep the air balloon. That's cool. We still KO them. I still would have wanted to see Sylveon, but I guess it doesn't matter. We did get Aurora. We didn't get Vaporeon. Vaporeon's useless, though, because we're weak to lightning, so... Not a big deal. Yeah, Glaceon could be pretty good here, to be honest. I mean, Jolteon's Pin Missile can be a bit of a threat, though, but... Still not a bad thing. Okay, they're gonna research. They gotta get rid of their entire hand here. Which they do lose a lot. Honest... Oh, nice. Three Marnies. Nice. That's good. The less Marnie they have, the better. So next turn, we can go Aurora, probably on Leafeon, and then Melanie to the Glaceon. They got the Jolteon. Do they have the Galarian and Zigzagoon? If they don't, that's really good. They don't. Nice. Um, well, maybe... Is it better to boss, maybe? Or not boss? Okay, no. I kind of think... Maybe just Max Leaf, actually. We need to evolve this, though, because it gets KO'd by Max Thunder Rumble. Then I think we do just Melanie to the Leafeon, then. Oh, we got the Sylveon. Okay. Oh, we didn't get the badge, though. There's no point in going to Sylveon, right? Yeah. We're just going to retreat into Leafeon. I mean, we're just going to have to lose our Sylveon. There's nothing I... I don't want to evolve it because we're going to take too much damage, right? Yeah, I think we just don't evolve here and we just... We just max leave him. Because if we evolve into Sylveon, right, they won't KO it, but then they can KO it in, like, a couple more Max Thunder. And then we could lose, actually. So I don't think we ever want to give him a three prizer. If only I got the ribbon on it, but there's only so much I can do. Only so much I can do. Jol Our own Jolteon could be really good, too, though, potentially. Okay, they're still not getting Sobbles, which is good. Now, do I hold the hand is the question. Ditto. Don't really need that. I'm gonna build up Glaceon. I think we're just gonna go Evo Incense for Glaceon. So that they can't max Thunder Rumble it. Actually would have been pretty big brain play if I had both Glaceon and Sleepion in play. And we just research. What am I getting rod? Oh, that's a lot of energy. We got Jolteon. Hey, what up, my boy? And then we will go Max Leaf. Knock him out. The next turn we can attack with Glaceon, or we just keep doing Max Leaf. Take our prizes. Vaporeon. What else? Evil Incense and Robat. None of them are really that good. So, I mean, our, these are probably the three best attackers right now. Leafeon, Glaceon, Jolteon. Jolteon, debatably, is the weakest link. Maybe I shouldn't even evolve. Oh, they just conceded anyway. Let's go, Leafeon, bro. Got him. All right. There we go. You got him. Yeah, I think going Glaceon just probably would have just been good there. All right. Cool beans. Okay, here we go. Let's try out this deck again. We've won the coin flip. That's good. We do want to go first. So we'll see what we're playing against. Um, and see what we get going here. Ooh, Vaporeon. We do have a quick ball, which is good. That does mean we can get either Sylveon or Leafeon, which is nice. Let's see what we're playing against. Oh, we had a lightning deck. No, it might be Rayquaza, actually. Because Vaporeon is weak to lightning. But if they're playing Rayquaza, it's not going to matter. Damn it. Ah, sorry, Vaporeon. You're the oddball out here. The odd ball out, the odd link out. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. So let's just get Leafy on. Well, oh, we don't even have the Leafy on VMAX in the deck, though. Damn, okay. It'll be on then, yeah. It's gotta be Sylveon. We don't have Leafy on in the deck. Touche. Then we'll go. Stay in the active, just dream gift. Oh, what are we grabbing? Probably just Quick Ball. So we can get another basic now. All good. The next turn, we can hopefully get the knockout with Lil Sylveon. Actually, we gotta watch out for the... Oh, you know what? If we get... Hold on. If we get Espeon VMAX in play, doesn't Wild Shock not paralyze me? I think that's actually the case. We want to get Espeon. Espeon could be good against these Flaffy decks. But I do unfortunately have a Marnie, which they always got at the right time. They do get rid of my Evil Incense and my Quick Ball, which does suck. Hopefully, we don't draw poorly here. Yeah. That's decent. We do got to lose Jolteon, but we got Rod. They got triple Mareep set up, which is scary. But no attack, though. So let's see if we draw. Umbreon, beautiful. All right, we'll go here. We'll Quick Ball. Honestly, I'm probably going to get... I'm going to get Jolteon. Actually, no, we want Espeon. <laughs> I want to get Espeon in play, right? Even if we don't use its attack, it's like its ability might actually come in handy. All right, we're looking for Rapture Energy, Sylveon VMAX. We do find it. Nice. Didn't get much else fine though do we even do we even a knockout 
We do have a knockout. Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> I'm just making sure. I think we want to thin the deck out. Even if we get Marnie again, I need to thin the deck out here so I can get more Pokemon in play. Or so I can get a better top deck. Take the kill. They could attack me again, which would be pretty bad. Let's we'll see what our prize is. Water. We can start to build up Espeon, I guess. Again, Espeon's max Ice Storm might not be bad. Or max Mind Storm. We'll see what other Pokemon they're playing, though. This might not just be a straight Zekrom deck. Ooh, Broken Heart. You'll love to see it. We're going to Rain Tear with Sylveon. Let's see a Switch. Do they have anything off this research? They got a Balloon. Oh, Big Brain play. Probat, though. That could be a good gust for the finale. Just a rear kick for 10. Yeah, you hate to see it. All right, now we can get our their squad in play. Oh, the Melanie draw. All right, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Oh, yeah, now we're cooking. Um, nice. This is good. Now, we don't have a knockout, unfortunately, on anything on the bench. Oh, not, I, I'm sorry. I'm not going to curb what I meant to say. Oh, Max Harmony. Don't think we need Glaceon in this matchup. Doesn't look like it's good. We drew another type off that we would have been able to kill Crobat, which is what I would have done. There's Leafeon. Okay, now we can start finding Leafeon. All right, that's good. I mean, Espeon's powered up too. We're chilling, bro. The two Psychic Evolutions are going to go ham. Not to mention, I think, prevent all effects of attacks. With Yeah, I'm pretty sure Espeon does stop Wild Shock. They are playing Pikachu VMAX though, so it doesn't look like they're going straight with the thing. We are going to get marnie meaning we are going to lose our Umbreon. That's fine, though. We should draw a supporter off this. We still have a decent amount left in the deck. Plus, we have Melanie, so. Hmm. Bad hand. We do get Jolteon, finally, though. Which I will bench. Then we can start doing 190 damage. In fact, we can actually kill their Pikachu here with Sylveon. And we do the Melanie. Bro, you gotta love to see it. Gotta send the deck out first. Grab Umbreon. Yeah, unfortunately, my opponent, bro, ripped their Pikachu. Melanie to the Umbreon. Oh, yeah. Put a water energy. Do the ability. Gust out that Pikachu. Hit it for 190. And, I mean, this is probably just GG's for my opponent. I I mean, we can't win next turn because we don't have boss. But, like, how do they stop me? Never mind. Now we do have boss. Now we got the boss's order. All right. That is pretty much game over. You know, they can't stop me. We have a lot of Pokemon powered up. Especially the Espeon, which it could be pretty good, too. I'm feeling pretty good now. I think... I think we're winning. We'll see, though. It's looking good. They have to Marty me again. If they don't Marty me, we win the game. Unless they put, like, a cape on Crobat or something. But we can still draw another type. It should just be GG's, though. They can't... I mean, they can't bring in Pikachu either. Again, it has to be a Marnie. They have to Marty me this turn. That's game. That should be game. I don't... I mean, unless they play Fan of Waves, I guess. That would work, I guess. Fan of Waves could work. I guess I'm jumping the gun, but uh, there's no Pikachu VMAX will ever play Fan of Waves, so you never have to worry about that. So I think it is GG's. There's the Pikachu. I think it's game over. It looks like the Sylveon-Umbreon combo is going to do him in. You see a Quick Ball gets rid of Stormy Mountains. Another Mareep. They're going in with the Mareeps. Actually playing the 6 HP one, but... And that's GG's. Let's go. The Sylveon sweep. You love to see it. And again, Espeon... Starting off, the Zekrom could be good. Umbreon did its job. We didn't attack with that, but hey, you know what? Their abilities were useful. And sometimes that is enough to win games. Not bad. You love to see it. We're done the ladder, too. Okay, let's go into another match. Tails? Hey, nice. Let's see we're up against. We see a Marnie deck box. I don't know. All right. Leafy on Sylveon start? Oh, man. Not like this. I mean, I'll take the ribbon badge, but we need stuff. We have Crobat, though. But well, we can't do much, so I don't know what to tell you. Here's another Flaffy deck. Can't get donked. We'll just pass. We can always retreat and do Melanie. Damn, bro. We had a good start to get, like, Sylveon or Eveon. No such luck. This could be Rayquaza VMAX, which... I mean, honestly, it might be kind of scary. This is where the Ribbon Badge is going to be good, because if we want to go Sylveon again, we want to have the Ribbon Badge so that we can still use two different evolutions, especially if we want to go, like... Jolteon or Vaporeon. Vaporeon might be good in this matchup. We don't know what we're playing against just yet, though. Vaporeon might have to sit on the sidelines for another lightning deck. Marnie? I guess that's okay. It's, I guess it's fine. We don't mind getting Marnie because our hand was bad. As long as we don't draw about bad off the of Marnie, which could happen. There it is. We do get some extra Pokemon, though, but none of them are useful. You hate to see it. We can draw Melanie, though. We're against another Pikachu deck. 
Or the LDF influence on the ladder, bro. No charge. That's good. Okay. Hey, there we go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Nice. That was a good Marty. And we'll balloon this and do this. And we're looking at research. Okay. What am I attaching to? I could just roar the Umbreon, right? It's probably the better attacker. Now, there is an issue with this hand. And the big issue is I don't want to lose the other Rapid Strike energy. But I guess we're only using Sylveon. It doesn't matter. So this is research. We want to maybe try to get into a Melanie so we can start attacking with Umbreon. But Umbreon doesn't KO this. Ultheon's good, though. We got Sylveon and Leafeon. Ooh. The decisions. I think we're going to get Sylveon. Well, do we have Sylveon VMAX? We do. I don't, man, Leafeon's good here. Do we have the Grass energy? Aw, oh, man. I'm going to go Sylveon as I have Ribbon Badge, but actually, Leafeon actually might be better because we get the energy acceleration. I think it is Leafeon then. We can thin the deck out too, which I think is important. Do we attach a Sil... Hmm. Grass Knot does 60 damage. I think I'd rather just use Umbreon. It's a tough decision. We're still dead drawn. We haven't seen a Melanie yet, so hopefully we find one soon. Maybe we'll get Marnie again. I don't know. Part of me did want to go with uh, the Sylvie on there, but the energy acceleration is too good to pass up. But yeah, the energy acceleration was too good to pass up. We'll see. We've only played one supporter, so I, I gotta imagine we'll find one soon. We do have Raihan, so they kill my goon, we can play Raihan. Which I'll probably just end up doing. I'll wait till they're gonna kill goon. They're finally gonna be able to do charge here. We maybe could have went Espeon then, but we can't one-shot them. That's only 180 damage with three energy. However, if we find net Espeon, we would KO them. That's fine. We'll let him KO my goon. I mean, they have a three-card hand. Do they have the boss's order? Probably, because usually somehow my opponent always has the boss, but we'll see. Um, There's even wind sense. Okay. So we do have the Umbreon attack here. But do I want to use Umbreon is the question. I mean, I don't mind them killing my goon, but at the same time, if we're going to go Jolteon, we want to keep the goon. We can always draw the goon back, though. We could trap Mareep with Mean Look. That's not really going to do much, though. We could trap Pikachu with Mean Look, then knock it out with Dumbreon VMAX. Not bad, either. Hmm. I think we just let him kill the goon. Yeah, we're going to let him kill Goon here. I'm fine with that. I don't think they play a boss in their hand. I mean, they might have it. They might not. I'm calling their bluff. I'm going to say they don't have a boss. I mean, they have a four-card hand. Do they really have it? Usually, my opponent does have the boss, but we'll see. And Umbreon's not even killing them, so there's not even a point. Actually, nothing's killing the Pikachu, to be honest, which is kind of scary. Maybe we should have just built up Espeon the whole time, then. I mean, now they have four energy in play. Maybe it's more correct to build up the SP on that, right? But they're going to Thundershock me. Breeders, ne oh, the Busted Breeder. Now they get Pikachu and Flaffy in play. But now they put a VMAX in play, which is good for us. We can even Grass Knot them. We can save Umbreon for a rainy day, because I think I'd rather use it for its ability, too. I mean, we're, it's kind of a waste of its ability. Maybe I just go Leafy on here and just Grass Knot them for, six, for 120. Hmm. I don't know, though. It's a little tough. It's a bit of a weird spot to be in. I also don't really like losing my goon, to be fair, but again, Rods is in the deck. Jolteon's going to be really good in this matchup, but we can't use it just yet. So I think we will go Leafeon here. See, we draw. Melanie? Beautiful. I'm still going to Raihan, obviously. Still correct to do Raihan here. We'll grab ourselves... We could go Glaceon VMAX, but this thing, yeah, there's no point. What do I want to grab? I could get Sylveon. We have Quick Ball, though. Actually, I kind of like going Sylveon. We could go Rod. Oh, Rod is prize. I think we want to go Elemental Badge then for Jolteon. I think we want to go Jolteon next turn. We could attack them. We could get Aurora. And we could Max Leaf for 170, though. That might actually be better. 
Which I think it is. The problem is that is our la I don't know. It's fine. We'll max leaf. It's fine. We can knock him out with Umbreon next turn. Leafion's gonna take bear damage. If they're playing like Reggie Lecky, that's really bad because we're gonna have enough HP for them to kill him with Reggie Lecky. I mean, they could even retreat this turn, but then we can Umbreon them up and gust them. Honestly, I might actually prefer if they retreat into a Thunderbolt. They're probably just gonna use Pikachu. But then we kill them with Umbreon. Then we take 100 damage. Then we have to go Jolteon. So I think that's our game plan is go knock out with Umbreon next turn. But we can't... Mm, we could use Baby Umbreon, but that's not gonna kill them. This actually might be really bad. Maybe we might have to sacrifice the Leafion. Huh. This is weird. Okay, hopefully we Melanated an Umbreon next turn. Well, this Pikachu is actually kind of intimidating. This is actually kind of bad, not gonna lie. We are in a bit of a rough spot right now. If they hadn't the if they hadn't built this Pikachu up too much, we might have been okay. This is bad. We could actually we could not KO them. That makes no sense. We could Marnie them. I might actually think Marnie might be the better play. Because we need to draw cards. Let's Marnie them. We'll grab. I think at this point we have to get Sylveon. And we're gonna Marnie here and just try to dig. We got Umbreon. We got no energy, though. Oh, it worked out. Melanie would have gave us Umbreon, too. That's a disappointment. We could kill the Pikachu. That'd be great. We're going to have to get KO'd here. This is not good. No energy is a big issue. Yeah, no energy there sucks. I think we're going to have to KO them and hope the best. Or maybe it was better to go Grass Knot. Because if we go Grass Knot, they can't... We get another turn. Maybe it was better to go Grass Knot. Okay, we got Espeon. Rod, Okay. Aurora, there we go. We got the Aurora. So we can... Honestly, I might just try to Jolteon too. Jolteon might be okay too. Hit for 100, knock out their Flaffy. But we have to find Goon to do that. I think I might actually try to go Jolteon next turn. But that could backfire though. If I whiff an energy, then I can't use Umbreon and then I have no attacker. This is scary. Maybe they're dead drawing. Yeah, I think, I think Jolteon is the correct play next turn. Oh, they go with another Pikachu. That's terrible because now they have G-Max Voltacle again. We could go Umbreon Jolteon. That could work too, but I need an Aurora Energy on this. If they whip an attack here, this is huge. If they actually don't knock me out, Escape Rope. We have to give him a free prize. I'll give him Crobat. That's fine. We'll give him Crobat, and then we'll go Jolteon. That's actually not... That's actually pretty good. Okay. That kind of worked out a bit better than I thought it would. We could maybe go Jolteon and try to end the game with Sylveon, maybe? I punch... Well, what a great... Yeah, great card. Yes, Lucky Energy. They have a one-card hand. They'll have two cards and kill me. And before they have a boss. Nice. Okay. This is fine. I guess now if they ever get a boss, so they win the game. But we're going to make them not have boss. We're not going to kill the Pikachu. We're going to just Jolteon him. Jolteon, Knockout Flaffy. We need the Goon, though. So I'm going to Rod, put back... Oh, they're not going to kill me. We got Melanie. Ooh, that's a big draw. Okay. The fact they didn't kill me there is actually really good. Because now we can go attach Aurora, get rid of this. Do this. Go. We can play the Melanie. I'm not going to play Rod. We're going to Melanie to the Umbreon. Or we could actually build up Sylveon. Build up Sylveon, sure. There's the badge. Okay. Not bad. This is actually pretty good. We could Umbreon trap Flaffy. They have a one-card hand. That could actually work. We can trap Flaffy, do Dream Gift, and then go Jolteon next turn. I like that. Let's do it. Two-card hand, do not have a switch. I swear if they have a switch, I'm going to be mad. If they have a switching card, I'll give them Espeon. Or they have an escape rope again, sorry. If they're stuck in the active, though, we can go with the Jolteon play. Or, well, I don't know. Bro, what? I actually had a switch, bro. My play, no, my plan. That's so annoying, bro. 
Well, now we can still go with the Jolteon Sylveon play, so we can still win. That's so annoying, though. We have Rapid Strike Energy. Do they have boss in hand, too? Man, I can't believe that. That's so... That's annoying, man. All right, I'm just going to rod. Put back the goon. Research. Just pray we find goon. There we go. This is our wing con, folks. We go goon ping. Knock out Flaffy. We didn't get Sylveon, though. Oh, no. We didn't get Sylveon. Now we can't win with Sylveon. We're just pretty much going to pray they don't have boss for game. I can't believe they had the switch, man. That sucks. I mean, you had a two-card hand. That's so annoying. All right. Do we get anything on the prize that can help us win the game? We got nothing. We have boss, though. We can knock out their Pikachu, but we have nothing to kill with. Bro, we might actually lose. We don't have a way to win next turn. Unless they Marty me. Or we had a way to go Espeon, I guess. Because we could have KO'd them with Max Ice Storm. If they don't discard the energy, though, we can go Umbreon. Okay, we can go Umbreon. All right, can we just drop Sylveon? Oh, let's go, bro. Oh, my God. The one-two punch. Look at our bench, too. It's beautiful. Look at all the evolutions. Oh, my gosh. Is that game? That's not game. No, wait. Never mind. I jumped the gun. We don't have game. We don't have another type in play. Ooh, I almost jumped the gun there. We don't have game. We needed a scoop up net to win the game. Oh, no. Damn it. We don't actually have game. <laughs> That's fine. We can still go Umbreon. Yeah, my bad. I jumped the gun. I actually, I don't think Boston Pikachu is correct because I don't want to activate that lucky energy to draw him a card and we just max darkness. So we can either win with Sylveon or Jolteon next turn as long as they don't have boss for game or they play a Leon Vitality Band. Oh my gosh, what a weird game. Damn it, I jumped the gun, bro. If only we got Scuba Net and Sylveon there, we would have won the game because then we bench fade Porygon, which is 220 damage. As long as they don't have boss for game, we're fine. They need to not have a boss, right? That's pretty much what we got to pray. Or they have like multiple energy removal cards, which I don't think they play. That'd be stupid. Very intense match, folks. Do they have boss for game or is the evolution box deck going to actually beat another Pikachu deck? The LDF effect, bro. Expect to see Pikachu on the ladder, guys. Whip out the Urshifus now. Do it, bro. Let's go. We've won. Oh my gosh. What a game, bro. What a game. Holy cow. That was close. All right. GG's. That was close. Damn. That was close. Anyways, I'm going to wrap up the video, guys, with those matches with the Evolution box deck. We didn't get to use Glaceon or Vaporeon. Obviously, we were never going to use Flareon. We didn't use Espeon to attack. We came close a few times. This ability actually was maybe okay, but that'll be it for the video, guys, on in this deck. Honestly, this deck is a ton of fun to play. I mean, obviously, it's not going to win a tournament or anything, but it is a actually super fun to play. Like, this is the first time in a long while I actually enjoyed playing this deck. Just all of the combos and strategies this deck kind of has it's actually kind of fun man i'm not gonna lie try this deck out if you want and if you really want to you can cut the flareon out of the deck and just add like another like maybe another leafeon and a sylveon maybe i don't know there's definitely some changes you could make to the deck i maybe would play two scoop up net um but it's kind of a dead card otherwise because you only play one goon um i might actually cut the ditto out of the deck to be honest and play like a maybe play like a cricketune or maybe even play like a second goon i don't know there might be some changes to be made to the deck i think the list was fine though I am, um, yeah, everything seemed fine with the deck. A lot of fun to play. Um, that'll be it for the video, guys. Again, if you guys want to support the content, leave a like. If you guys are new to the channel, help me on the road to reaching uh, 20k subs. We just hit 19.8k subs. So you guys have not subscribed yet. Hit that sub button right now. Help me reach 20k subs. I'm going to be doing a big giveaway one last time before we can't do giveaways anymore on PDCGO because trades are gone. But that'll be it for the video. Take a car, Kevin. Check out my socials down below, my Twitch, my Twitter, and my Discord. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.